so sad. Oh. Wow, it's a trippy video. It's anti-pop. Billy. <gasps> oh, this is Billie Eilish's new music video. My daughters freaking love her. What do you want from me? Who is this? What do you want from me? Why don't you run from me? What are you wondering? She got a nice little vibe, man. Why aren't you scared of me? When we all fall asleep, where do we go? I go to bed. Ooh. That's a little creepy. I'll meet you in the park. I'll be coming. It freaked me out when I learned that she was like 17. <laughs> she has such a like pretty voice, but she does some of the scariest stuff visually with her videos, and I'm like, oh come on, girl. <laughs> I'm like, I can't watch this at night. This is a rad shot. Freaky, freaky eyes. Voice is particularly, particularly pretty and haunting at the same time. Oh, that's awesome. Disturbingly awesome. She looks freaky as hell. See, I'm just like, you scary bitch, but I love you. She pulls off the like, if Tim Burton were an indie pop punk girl singer. When we all fall asleep, where do we go? When you fall asleep, where do we go? I go in my dreams, girl. She's totally like anti-pop star. I kind of like her. You don't even know what kind of shape she has. She has t-shirts, she wears sweats. She's not pushing sexuality. She's pushing her words, which is great. So that was Teenage Rising music star Billie Eilish. We will show you some more of her in just a bit, but wanted to point out that today's episode was voted on by the FBE Superfam, a part of our audience that's supporting us all at FBE through YouTube memberships over on the React channel. We don't call you guys a super fan for anything. You have great taste. Every month, members get to vote on topics that we turn into episodes, and this was their pick for the month of March. Stop. They can, like, interact? You guys can now, like, you know, practically be our bosses now and, like, tell us what to react to. We previously had the teens react to Billie Eilish, so the rest of the songs, like the first one we just showed you, are songs we did not feature on Teens React. Ooh, okay, I love this. God, her visuals are always so cool. Incredible vocals, just like so talented. It does not look very tasty. She drinks darkness. So sad. Oh. Wow, it's a trippy video. Don't you hate when that happens? When you're crying and the tears come up black because you're just that upset? Makes me think of visuals from some anime. Like, ugh! gosh damn it, this is gross. But it sounds so pretty. All of her music sounds like drowning, but like serenely. She's a wonderful actress. Like, I would love to go to one of her concerts, but I'd also be terrified that I wouldn't make it out of their lives. I don't see anything shocking about it. It's, um, it's storytelling. I would just rather listen to it than look at the video and listen to it. Because it does feel a bit put upon. Like, it's just so much. Ah, mobile. Stop! Stop! I have arachnophobia. Arachnophobia, dude. No spiders. Hey, that's one thing. She got some bottom in her songs. Her songs have bass. The beat is awesome. One by one. God, I love how weird she is. I think it's awesome that she's like just doing what she wants to do. You should see me in the crowd. Hell no. no. God damn it, this is gross. Wild. This is like wild. No. Cool. 
Not for me. It's a, an alternate version of 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 pop almost, but it's it's anti-pop. She is portraying light. However, she takes it too far to me within this because I don't want to say it's not that serious because life is serious in so many ways, but then it just distorts it. Oh, it's fake and real love hurts. Oh, I like this song so much. When nothing hurts when God, they need to take Billy out of this white room. She's been stuck here for two music videos. Just let me hold. She's got a great voice. I've heard some live stuff too, and that's how you can really, you know, you can really tell a true artist by their live performances. Like her, oh gosh, like that's so hauntingly beautiful, how that sound. Her videos are wild. I feel like all of her music videos are like physical representations of different drugs. It's incredible, Jesus, the team behind her is insane. I almost want to just turn my head and listen to the music and the lyrics without looking at the video, like. Dude, I'm getting a triple threat vibe from her. Like, obviously she's good at singing. Her acting in all of these videos is on point. And just the way she moves, like, she, I feel like she can do it all. Baby, I don't feel so good <laughs> six words here. That's a great picture. <laughs> I shouldn't have looked at the screen. I need to start over. The eyes. You never say. So mellow. This is more acoustic and it's still very much Billie Eilish at the same time. It's interesting listening to her music without a video or anything to back it up. Like this is just very slow, soft acoustic. That's so good, man. Girl, oh girl, are you talking real life now? Honestly, I just sit here and like fall in love more and more just anytime I listen to any of her music. So interesting. From the LGBTQ plus community myself, everybody was flipping out there like, wow, that's so disrespectful. I'm like, if you're actually listening to it, it's not her trying to be disrespectful. It's her saying like, I wish you were gay so that you could spare my pride, so that that would give me some type of like reasoning as to why you don't want to accept my love and everything. I just kind of wish you were gay. Hmm. Nice. Yeah, she got some good songs. Her words and 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 the music and trying to make a connection and reach out. It's just a nice, wonderful, eclectic blend uh, that makes her uniquely Billie Eilish. So Billie Eilish is only 17 years old. Wow. She's the same age as my daughter, 17. That's crazy. And has yet to release a proper studio-length album or a top 10 radio hit. Really? She is being labeled as a disruptive force in pop music with LA Times calling her the future of pop music. I don't think it's disruptive. It's just, um, it's kind of outside of the norm. The only thing that's disruptive, honestly, is that she hasn't come up with an album. She don't have an album so that, you know, either she can make money or the powers that be can suck the life out of her. <laughs> this is not necessarily like, like goth or dark or deep. And at the same time, it's not all happy and beautiful and perfect. It's a nice blend of everything in between. It's disruptive in a good way because it's new. This seems to be focusing a little bit more on the darker side, probably a lot with depression situations. She kind of feels like the new wave of almost like the social media generation of pop stars where like you don't necessarily need all of these like mainstream things to become popular. She is disrupting the platform of a woman in pop music having to be selling sex in order to be successful. That's what she's disrupting and it's amazing. That's why I really like her. So Billy's fast rise in the industry has been heavily talked about. From October 2017 to October 2018, Billy went from having over 200,000 followers on Instagram to over 6.3 million followers. Yeah, it's insane. I was following her when she was in the 200. From October 2018 to the present time, she has doubled her count with over 14 million followers. That's fantastic. She's doing some right. To you as adults, do these type of metrics matter when it comes to listening to an artist? No, she could have 20 followers. Not really. I honestly too tend to listen to a lot of indie music anyway. It matters just from like a fascination point of like seeing 
how much somebody can just catch on and blow up. I like to follow them when they only have 50,000 followers and then, you know, go along on the journey with them, support them, and then see them at two million. They're little reminders that this artist is growing and they're building a fan base. Billy, possibly more than any other teen celeb before her, has not only grown up with the internet, but has also been a huge fan of some of the biggest online shows. Mm -hmm. Even now she's made appearances on digital shows like Hot Ones, mm -hmm. Sneaker Shopping with Complex, yeah. and even came to the FBE studio yes, to film a video yes. with us last year. I respect her for that, right on Billy. Keep stopping by FBE. Family. I Complex. love Hot Ones and Sneaker Shopping. I always watch those shows all the time. How do you think growing up around digital media and being a fan of online content benefits her as an artist? Hugely, because I mean, that's just where our whole world is right now. When the times change, you have to learn how to change with the times. Social media kind of benefits everyone in the creative field. It's like a crash test with every single project you have because you get instant feedback from everybody in the comments. Like if you just have a song playing on the radio, you don't really hear the audience. You don't know what they're saying about it. You don't know what they like. You don't know what they want. Older artists, they're like, oh, the internet? Why would I ever want to promote my new album on the internet? But these these artists get it. They know. They're like, dude, why would I ever promote my album on television? Growing up, do you remember any similar pop stars that had comparable rise and appeal like this, where the sound wasn't the typical pop sound, but also had a very different and out there vibe that connected to people on another level? Being honest, I want to say no. Uh, Avril Lavigne? Like, from when I was growing up, because that's what I used to listen, she was like the punk chick. Fiona Apple, honestly, she had like a really kind of grown up sound and she was kind of poetic. Who comes to mind is Fiona Apple. She ended up on MTV and she was, uh, and she got to the right place and she met the right people at the right time so that uh, we could all learn about her music. So finally, Billy is set to release her debut album titled When We All Fall Asleep, Where Do We Go? in March 2019. After listening to some of her music today and knowing a little bit more about her, mm -hmm. do you think you'll be checking it out? Definitely. Oh my god, of course. Hell yeah, it's gonna be so good. Yeah, probably because it'll be on the radio, all over the radio. Definitely. Um, I won't be looking at any of the visuals though. Definitely. I think this was a very nice vibe. I want to hear where it's going. I definitely want to check it out. I love hearing something new. Yes, I mean, I've already listened to her uh, major hits. Talking about it now has got me like really excited to see what she has coming. 100%. She's such a genuinely sweet, artistic young woman. Her music makes me think about being a teenager again and what I loved about music. Thanks for watching this episode of Adults React and shout out to David482 and KM. What other artists should we react to next? Let us know in the comments. Hi guys, JC here, producer at FB. Big thanks to the super fan for picking this topic and being the reason why we can make videos like this one. If you'd like to join, check out the links in the description below or click the join button over on the React channel for more info.